we've got this first matrix here and we're asked to put this into reduced row echelon form. So all I've got to do is to take this matrix and put it into the calculator. So I'm going to go over to the calculator and grab the matrix menu. So that second matrix in that first column, I want to go over to edit so I can enter in a matrix. This particular matrix has three rows and three columns. So we call this a three by three. So I type three, enter, three, enter, and um, the calculator gives me the right size. Now I go ahead and put my numbers in. So I've got two, one, seven across the top, and then six, four, and 22. And then finally, negative 16, use that negative down at the bottom by the enter key, negative 10, and negative 58. Okay, so I've got my matrix in here. Here's how we get to reduced row echelon form. I'm gonna go into the home screen. So I second quit. I go back into my matrix menu. So I go second matrix, and I wanna grab a math operation. I'm in the math menu, and I wanna go ahead and grab an operation. I'm looking for RREF. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and I'm looking for the RREF. We're gonna find REF, which is reduced echelon, or which is row echelon form, but we want RREF, which is reduced row echelon form. I hit enter and it's waiting for my matrix name. So I'm gonna go second and then um, matrix, which is my X to the negative one key. This time I wanna grab the matrix name, which is that matrix A, and then I hit enter. This is reduced row echelon form. I've got ones down the diagonals and zeros on the other side of that where that is possible. So the reduced row echelon form, the calculator gave it to me really nicely. One, zero, three, zero, one, one, and zero, zero, zero. Let's look at another example and we're gonna see how to solve systems of equations using matrices. So I'm gonna to go to the next example. And in this next one, um, we wanna come up with the augmented matrix. So we're gonna go ahead and put the coefficients into a matrix and then solve the system using reduced row echelon form. So as I put this into my matrix, let me just grab my pen. My matrix is just going to consist of those coefficients. So across the first equation, I've got these coefficients. The next equation, I've got a nine, a negative six, a three, and then a nine. And then the last equation, a negative three, a three, a negative one, and a negative eight. We call this an augmented matrix because it's augmented with the constants on the other side of the equation. Okay, let's go ahead and put this one into the calculator. So I'm gonna go second matrix. I wanna grab a new matrix, but I'm gonna go ahead and enter it into matrix A again. I'm just gonna type over what I had, but this time I have three rows and four columns. So let's change it to a three by four. And we're gonna type in our values. So I've got negative nine, nine, negative one, and negative 14. Nine, negative six, three, and nine. And then negative three, three, luckily this is the hardest part, <laughs> negative one, and then negative eight. Okay, I've got all of my values in there. I'm ready to go back to the home screen, second quit and I go back to matrix math menu, and I'm looking for that reduced row echelon form. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here until I get to reduced row echelon form. Um, the other way that we could have done it is to grab that last entry, but I'm here. So there's reduced row echelon form. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, and I want matrix A, so I'm gonna go back to second, and then my matrix menu and grab matrix A, under names by hitting enter and then enter. So what I get is reduced row echelon form. Notice those ones down the diagonal. The coefficients are one, zero, zero, negative four, zero, one, zero, negative five, zero, zero, one, and then five. These still represent the same um, coefficients. So the first column are the X, the second column, the Y, the third column, the Z, and then that last column is the um, separated by the equal sign. 
So if I want to put these in terms of my answers, I can go ahead and grab this first row. And this tells me that 1x or x is equal to negative 4. It's giving me the answers. Super nice. OK, oops, I just wrote over that one, but we can still read it. This tells me that 1y is equal to negative 5. And then that last one is telling me that 1z, 1z is equal to 5. So that ordered triple is the solution to the system of equations. OK, let's do another example, because sometimes you don't end up with a unique solution. Sometimes there are infinitely many. If you are enjoying this video, if it's helpful for you, please click like. The more likes, the more people are able to view it. OK, here comes our last example. Now, I want to put this one into an augmented matrix as well. I'm not going to bother to write this out. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and just put it right into the calculator. So over in the calculator, I'm going to go second and then matrix. I'm going to go ahead and grab matrix A again. And this has three. Um, it, the same. So it's got three rows and four columns. I'm just going to enter through that. And let's go ahead and put in our numbers. So I've got 4, negative 15, negative 46, 83. Oh, whoops, not that. Negative 46, 83. And then the next row, negative 12. 15, 78, negative 99, last row, negative 3, 5, 22, and negative 31. So it's a little bit of work to get it in there, but completely worth it. Let's go back to our home screen. This time, instead of going into the matrix menu, I'm going to go ahead and just grab my last entry. So I can either arrow up and then hit Enter. If that doesn't work for you, you can also do second followed by the enter key. Either way, I get that last reduced row echelon form for matrix A. I hit enter, and here's what I end up with for my reduced echelon form. I get uh, 1, 0, negative 4, 2, 0, 1, 2, negative 5, and then all zeros at the bottom. If I read this, let me go ahead and put my um, variables up here. These still represent the same variables, x, y, z. And then that last row is separated by the equal sign. So as I'm reading these, this says that 1x minus 4z is equal to 2. The next row says that 1y uh, plus 2z is equal to negative 5. And this last one says that I don't have a, a unique value for z. So we're just going to let z be our free variable. And we can express our ordered triple by solving for x and solving for y. As I solve for x, so I had x minus 4z equals 2. I'm just going to add the 4z to both sides plus um, 4z. And then I end up with x is equal to, that was a z, 4z plus 2. You can write it in the other order. That would be perfectly fine. And I'll do the same thing here, y plus 2z equals negative 5. This time I'm going to subtract that 2z from both sides, minus 2z. And I get y is equal to negative 2z minus 5. The ordered triple this time has the variable z in it. So I can write x as 4z plus 2, y as negative 2z minus 5, and then z is any value z, and it determines the values of our x and our y. So that's our answer. I hope this was helpful. Please click like. And if you've got any comments for me, questions, suggestions for more videos, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching.